Hello everyone! Today we're going to be rolling out some slabs and creating a clay owl. We have our workspace set up with two wooden slats, clay in the middle, and our rolling pin. We want to make sure our slats are close enough, there we go, so that we are rolling on top of the wooden slats. That's going to help control the thickness of our owl. For this project, you have a lot of freedom, so you want to begin by sketching out the shape of your owl. You're just drawing lightly into the clay, thinking about the body form. I like to use an oval shape and then add some triangles up at the top for the ear feathers. If you make a mistake, just rub it out and redraw. Once you're happy with the design, you'll want to press all the way through and cut out your design. These extra pieces can be saved for later, so just set them aside once you're done. You're going to want to start thinking about adding your owl's details. For the eyes, again, you have a lot of options. You could carve out eyes, you could attach more clay, or you could draw in or press in details. I think for my eyes, I'm going to start with some coils. So I'm going to move my owl and I'll roll out some very short coils of clay. I'm going to use these to create some rings around their very large eyes. I'll cut this in two and then I'll have two matching lengths. Whenever we're attaching clay to other clay, there are steps that you're going to want to follow. It doesn't just stick by itself. So we want you to use the steps in this order. You're going to score the clay, add some slip, stick the pieces together, and then you can smooth the edges. So scoring is roughing up or scratching into the clay. You want to do it on both areas that are being attached. So the bottom of my eyes and on the owl itself. At your table you'll have some water, some like wet clay, and then smooth things out so that they're going to stay on and they won't fall off later in the process. I'm going to use this marker cap just to kind of add some details to my owl's eyes. And I think for my final step, I'm going to add some lines around the outside. Owl's eyes are probably the most interesting part of them, I think. I'm going to add a little bit of texture on the ears and start to think about my nose. So for the owl's beak, again, you can draw things, you can press them in or you can sculpt a shape and put it on. So here I'm sculpting a diamond beak. Diamonds and triangles are always good shapes for owls. Once you get it shaped on and it looks about the right size, we're following those steps. Scoring, adding the slip, sticking it on, and smoothing the edges. Now for the stomach, you want to add some sort of texture. So look in your bin at your table and find something you want to add. I'm going to roll on this doily texture. And okay, the last thing we're going to be adding are the wings. You could fold wings in if you had a longer or wider owl shape. For me, I think attaching is the best method. So I'm going to roll out a small slab and use my tool again to draw my shape, making a teardrop shape wing. I can use that as my template to create a second one. So just stacking them on top of each other, tracing them around. And because I made slabs, they're all the same thickness as the owl. I'm gonna to wanna to add a texture to my wings. Again, looking in my basket, I have this cool rolling tool. I'm gonna to use that, add this polka dot texture. And I'm going to need to follow those same steps again. Scratching, adding the slip, just scratch and score the back of those wings real quick. Pressing them on. The wings could be out or they could be tucked in. It's up to you. I'm going to tuck mine in. And I want to make sure everything's really attached well. So I'm just going to kind of blend a little on those edges. Give those wings a better reason to stick on. Smooth all your sides, write your name on the back. 